Let's turn now to the deadly string of storms that is pummeling the West Coast with rains, high winds, and mudslides. Sam Champion's been tracking it all overnight. He warned us about it yesterday, and he's here right now with the very latest. Hey, Sam. Good morning, Elizabeth. It's been a difficult 24 hours with three storms basically stacked up there into the Northwest. One has already made its way in. Take a look at another one about to move in today. Basically, this second low will push the heaviest rain south from Redding into San Francisco. But so far, the top winds, and these are high elevation winds right at the top of the mountains, have been 140. 14 miles per hour. The top rains have been seven to nine inches of rain again in the top. But even from Seattle all the way to Portland, there's been three to four inches of rain. That's two days of incredibly bad weather and two more days of incredibly bad weather coming. Torrential downpours in the Pacific Northwest have brought nearly eight inches of rain since Sunday from Oregon to Washington. Wind gusts of 114 miles an hour in Washington state toppled trees and knocked out power to over 50,000 residents. Members of Seaside, Oregon's fire department had to run for cover when their vehicle was demolished by a falling tree. They were quick enough. They all ran, so they made it just in time. Another near miss in South Bend, Washington. A state trooper narrowly escapes the patrol car when a tree comes crashing down on Highway 101, igniting the vehicle in a burst of flames. Down power lines are described as being everywhere, and residents are getting warnings again this morning of potential flash flooding. The next couple of days, the water is going to be coming up awful fast, and we need to be aware of that. So keep an eye on those weather conditions. Just don't be around the water for now. Now, most of the country is going to see incredibly dry, very warm weather, the possibility of 77 in some temperatures like Dallas and maybe even 60 degrees in Chicagoland. But take a look at the northwest. If you're traveling over the next couple of days, this doesn't leave, and it's anywhere from Seattle to San Francisco. And there's some pretty large airports in the middle of that, SeaTac, also San Francisco Airport itself. So the ice, the wind, the rain, the snow, still there. Now back to the desk. All right, Sam, thank you so much.